Indeed. Speak with me when the box has been opened, and all shall be revealed. Your continuing aid to Septimus renders him increasingly obsolete. He has served me well, but his time is nearing its end. Once that infernal lockbox is opened, he will have exhausted his usefulness to me. When that time comes, you shall take his place as my emissary. What say you? I am Hermaeus Mora. I am the guardian of the unseen and knower of the unknown. I have been watching you, mortal. Most impressive. Be warned, many have thought as you do. I have broken them all. You shall not evade me forever. Go forth, do the biddings of Septimus, for he is working my will in your plane. Come, my champion. Come closer, bask in my presence. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Who do you think brought Septimus here? Who do you think protected you on your journey to open the box and loose my knowledge on this world? Your free will is an illusion. Whether you acknowledge me or not is your own business, but I will be in your mind. I am Hermes Mora. I've been watching you since you defeated Mirak. Your progress is most impressive. I am Hermes Mora. I've been watching you since we last spoke. And I am pleased with your progress. This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. I am Hermaeus Mora, Prince of Fate and Lord of Secrets. This is Apocrypha, where all knowledge is hoarded. If you tire of the search, read your book again to return to your mortal life. For a time, the lure of Apocrypha will call you back. It is your fate. <laughs> Perhaps you are a fool or a coward. If so, you are in peril. Need your book again and escape before Apocrypha claims you forever. So.
sate to your thirst for knowledge in the endless stacks of my library. Now, oh, perhaps you will prove clever enough to uncover the secrets hidden here. If so, welcome. I know you, champion. The Agma Infinium was only the beginning. So, another seeker after knowledge enters my realm. As I told you, when I gave you the Agma Infinium, your free will is an illusion. Why else would you be? You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. You are dragonborn, like Mirak before you. A seeker of knowledge and power. You will be either a worthy opponent or his mm, successor as the tides of fate decree. In return, I'll keep my promise as befits a prince of oblivion. I give you the word of power that you need to challenge Mirak. Dragonborn, uh, you have delivered me the gift I requested. At last, the skull yield up their secrets. To me! But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass him. The second word of power. Use it to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. Ah, here then, use the knowledge you need, although you did not know you needed it. Send the Skull Shaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. I know what you want. To use your power as Dragonborn, to bend the world to your will. The Skull have withheld their secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library. You are following in the footsteps of my servant, Mirak. Like him, you are dragonborn and seek the power that is your birthright. Your progress in sustaining my Agma Infinium has been rapid. And now I find you here, following in my servant Murat's footsteps. You also are Dragonborn. You also seek to learn how to bend the world to your will. Mm, you please me 
champion. Your loyalty will be richly rewarded. No. Look around you. You have done nothing here on your own. <laughs> you could spend a hundred lifetimes searching my library, and you will never find what you seek. <laughs> you will serve me, willing or not. All who seek after the secrets of the world are my servants. Knowledge for knowledge. Ah, all that he knows, he learned from me. Even dragons submit to Mirak's voice. Without that power, you cannot face him. So say I. Hermaeus Mora, master of the tides of fate. Hmm, he has served me long and well, but... He grows restless under my guidance. His desire to return to your world will spread my influence more widely, but it will also set him free from my direct control. It may be time to replace him with a more Loyal servant, hmm? one who still appreciates the gifts that I have to offer. Well done, my champion. Your journey towards enlightenment has finally led you here to my realm, as I knew it would. All the seekers of knowledge come to me, sooner or later. Mirak served me well, and he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. You thought to reject me, and yet here you are. Your journey towards enlightenment has led you to my realm, as I knew it would. Yes, I know. And then, Murak's power will be yours as well. My servant Murak would have found a way to bring me what I want. So will you, if you wish to surpass him. I know you will. And then... I will give you the knowledge that you seek. My word is as true as fate, as inevitable as destiny. Bring me what I want, and I will give you what you seek. I am Hermes Mora, the gardener of men, newer of the unknown, master of fate. You stand in my realm, mortal. 
No, not yet. I have watched your progress through my realm with hmm, growing interest. Get to think to escape me, Mirak. You can hide nothing from me here. <sighs> Mirak harbored fantasies of rebellion against me. Learn from his example. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. No matter! I have found a new dragon born to serve me. <laughs>